Hello again and welcome back to Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and I'm recording this video mid to late March 2023. Uh, date significant because Josh Scott has just put a video out on the JHS Pedals YouTube channel talking all about this, the Digitech Bad Monkey Overdrive pedal. And the guitar community is kind of gone a bit crazy. Um, the resale value on these, these pedals on the second hand market has just gone through the roof beyond all sense or reason. And it reminded me, I do actually have a, a bad monkey of my own who's been sitting on the pedal pedal shelf. I've got a few different overdrives I kind of rotate in and out. I thought, well, the bad monkey hasn't been on the board for a while. So why don't I give it a, a give it a bit of love? And I thought what I'd do for this video is to shoot out, if that's the right word, the bad monkey, uh, boss blues driver. I haven't got a boss blues driver, I've actually got a boss angry driver, but it's got the blues driver circuit in, so I switched that into blues driver mode. And I've also got a Frederick Effects Golden Eagle, which is a pretty faithful clone of the Clon Centaur, another pedal which has been hyped out of all proportion. So what I've done is I've got the pedals on the board and I'm going to dial in some sounds. And this isn't an exercise in can you identify the bad monkey or can you identify the, the blues driver or whatever. Really it's just to kind of play the, the pedals next to each other compare the sounds and really listen and what is it about the sounds that you like which one do you prefer uh, which is a useful skill just being able to listen to a sound critically and analytically and thinking about the, the tones that you're hearing the amount of dirt the you know all the different characteristics and making a judgment about what you like and, and what works for you so Going into the clean channel on the amp, I was going to start off with my Thompson custom guitar. It's got a Demasio tone zone at the bridge, so fairly rich, uh, full humbucker there, and a Demasio PAF at the neck. Into the clean channel, it sound like this. <laughs> And got a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb, but that's it. No chorus, no compression or anything like that. So I've got all the pedals down on the board, dialed in with a lowish, uh, the, the drives at about about nine o'clock sort of, sort of setting. Uh, let's just play through them, see what you think of the sounds. Starting off with this one. <laughs> think of those sounds all of those are pretty much at unity so I'm not pushing the amp um, the, the the level of the pedal off is the same as the level of the pedal on I'm not I'm not pushing the preamp into overdrive and the EQ is set pretty flat on all of them so what do you think first impressions so I'm playing there with the uh, with humbuckers we could try it with uh, single coils as well just by way of a comparison so I'm going to switch over to the Strat so back with the Strats, Fender Custom Shop Strat based on a 55, so it's classic 50s Custom Shop pickups in here. Um, let's try those pedals again. So just for reference, this is the clean sound. Pedal number one. Pedal number two.
overdrive pedal number three. Different kind of sound there, obviously the Strat has got lower output pickup so it's not pushing the overdrive pedals quite so much. Let's dial in a slightly higher gain sound. I'm going to take the, the, the gain up to about, yeah, about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, so a lot more drive in the sound. Again, level at Unity and EQ flat, a bit more drive, here's pedal number 1. So that was with the Strat. Let's switch back to the Thompson and hear how the humbuckers sound. Okay, so back with the Thompson. With the humbuckers, there's a bit more output, so it's gonna be a bit more signal going into the gain stage in the pedal. We'll hear a little bit more drive, a little bit more dirt, I think. So let's go with pedal number one. you shaping up same preferences as you had with the the lower gain sounds or as you are your preferences changing around that certain pedals you think sound better with lower gain and a different pedal sound better with a bit more gain i'm playing these all in the same order so anytime i'm playing pedal one it's always the same pedal right let's turn things up to the max i'm going to go full gain on all three pedals okay gain up to the max Level at Unity, so still not pushing the amp, and flat EQ. Here we go with pedal number one. Pedal number two.
Okay, so that's three pedals, full gain with humbuckers. Let's hear get that set of pedals again, but with the Strat. Okay, so back with the Strat and pedal number one. Now, having played through the three pedals with the different settings, one thing I found really interesting is that I am hearing a difference in sound. One of the, the takeaways from the GHS video was that everything that he played next to the Bad Monkey sounded like the Bad Monkey. Now, I don't know how he'd gone around about setting up the pedals, if he'd intentionally tried to make um, each pedal do a Bad Monkey type of sound or tweak the bad monkey to do like a clon type of sound or a, a tube screamer type of sound, I, I don't know. Um, what I've done here is try to show like for like, so in each set of, set of three, it's similar level flat EQ and a similar level of drive relative to the pedal. Now, obviously some pedals have a little bit more gain to give than others, so a relative settings, certainly I thought pedal number two had a bit more, a uh, bit more dirt to it than the others, but that's just my ears. Your your perception, you know, what appeals to you might uh, might differ. But as I said at the start of the video, part of this, you know, it's not about identifying uh, any given pedal. It's about analysing the sound. So what are you listening to? You listen to the EQ. You listen to the amount of dirt that a pedal's got. You listen to its voice and think about the characteristics of in there and what it is about that that appeals to you. So there's no right or wrong answer as to which is the best pedal. It's about what's the best pedal to your ears. Results. Pedal number one was the Bad Monkey. Pedal number two was the Blues Driver. And pedal number three was the Golden Eagle Clon Clone. So what do you think? Were you surprised? Could you hear that much of a difference between them? Did you already have a preconception as to which would be the better pedal and you kind of you've had your perceptions changed? Oh, you're not one of those people who just spent five or six hundred pounds on a bad monkey and realised that it sounds pretty similar to a blues driver that you can get for less than a hundred pounds. I hope not. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you did, please click the like button down there. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see other videos that are posted on the channel, then please click subscribe, which is also down there. And click the bell icon so you get notified about other videos that are posted onto the channel. You're welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always get notified by YouTube when people leave comments. So if there's something specifically uh, interests you and you want to ask me about whether it's guitar gear, music theory, guitar playing, anything at all, go here fill that form in, that way the question comes direct to me, I'll see it and I can get around to answering your question in a future video. Okay, that's all for now, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.